Hi guys. Okay, so this is a look I did for you guys today. It's just a very soft, very easy, super, super easy Easter spring look. You can wear these to church. You can wear them to your Easter dinner. You can wear them to an Easter egg hunt. It's very fun and flirty and it just like, it's not too intense to the point where you can't, you're hiding everything, but it really just makes everything pop and no... I wouldn't go out with two different color eyes. I decided to do two looks in one. But if you want to wear this, then hey, go for it. But um, yeah, stay tuned for the look. Bye. Okay, so I have already done my eyebrows and put on my primer and um, eyeshadow base. Now I use such a bright like white color for my eyeshadow base because I'm doing this for Easter. And Easter colors are bright and I really don't want a nude or natural color to dim down the um, brightness of the eyeshadow so yeah so let's go ahead and get into it this first eye I'm gonna be doing purple and you know what we'll see see where it goes but um also make sure you have a moisturized face and you primed your face and please do not mind the blemish right here I'm getting a pimple right in the middle of my head so whatever all right let's begin Okay, so I'm going to take this basic palette, and this is just Color Institute, and I believe I got it from Ross. It was like $10, or my mom got it for me, but I use it. The pigments are actually very, very strong, but the colors I use most are the gold and this um, my natural color, which I'm going to use here, which is this color right here, and I just love it. Like, it's gone. They both have holes in them on both sides. It's like, this one's a shade darker, but they're about the same. So I am just going to go ahead and put that right above my crease and right below my highlight just as a transition color. And you want to blend that out just like that. And I like to make sure I have a lot in the area of my um, nose. And I'm going to be two, doing two different looks on the same face. So I may look a little crazy after this, but this transition color goes for both sides, for both looks. And just take that up to the brow, blend it out. And there you have your basic transition color and I'm gonna go ahead and do my highlight and for your highlight color you can pick basically any color now since my base is so light I'm gonna go ahead and just take this um, kind of natural nudie color right here it looks white but it definitely has more of a cream tan finish and put that right in my highlight area with the same brush, this is just my fluffy brush from Coastal Scents. And then do that on both eyes. Now the great thing about this is my highlighter, or my, I'm sorry, my base already acts as a, um, a highlight so you really don't have to put a lot on and if this is too white for you you can just dim it down with your transition color like a little bit over just dab it a little bit and kind of just sweep it over and it should take it down a few notches and there and now we're gonna go ahead and do our eyelids now like always I love a uh, white in my um the corner of my eye to make my eyes pop so I'm going to take, this is from the 252 Coastal Scents palette that I did a haul on a few weeks ago. And I'm going to take the white in this corner right here. Or oh, wrong corner, guys. No, that's it. No <laughs> white in this corner. And I'm doing this for both eyes. And really just pack that on.
Now you can always put on more. It just depends what it like, what you like. It doesn't matter. It looks kind of sloppy right now, but don't worry. It's all going to come together. Okay, now with this flat brush, once again, I'm using all Coastal Scents brushes. This is just like a, a kind of flat, but fluffy brush. I'm going to do my first eye and take this light blue color now. If I tilt it this way, you get the natural, like the true color of what's really going on. So I'm going to use this one. It's this really bright blue color. And I'm going to take that and put it this all over my lid. And you're just going to blend that in with the white. Just so the white only appears in this little crease right here. So the blue is basically covering three-fourths of your eyelid. Now, I'm going to take this fluffy angle brush, and you can use whatever lighter blue than you already used. I'm going to use this one. It's a light shimmery blue, and I'm going to throw that in and above my crease just like that now I'm going to come back to my fluffy brush and make sure it is all blend out. And then I'm just going to add a little more because I feel like it took the color away. And that is your blue eye. It's really just really simple, really bright. I'm just doing these for Easter just to show how like light and basic you can do. Now on the other eye, I'm going to take the same brush that I used the blue on and kind of just wipe it off. You guys can just dab it off. And I'm going to do green next. Now the green you use can be, you know, good for your skin tone. It just depends on what green you like to wear in your own eye. And so I'm going to take this really bright green right here in the for sake of Easter and put that all over my lid just as we did the other one and it's super bright as you guys can see and once again you're taking that to three-fourths on your lid and all these colors are coming from the 252 coastal Co coastal scents palette you guys hear these people yelling outside oh god and I'm going to add one more layer okay just like that and just like I took a shimmery pink I'm gonna take another shimmery or shimmery blue I'm gonna take another shimmery green and put it above my lid right above my crease but for this one I'm gonna go like a shade darker because I don't want bright green consuming my lid and so you're going to put that right above the crease just like so and then you're going to blend it out with your fluffy brush which is, oh my gosh, I lost it. Where's my fluffy brush? Here it is. <laughs> fluffy brush. And that is basically it for these two looks. I'm going to finish it by doing my foundation, concealer, eyeliner, and mascara. And I will show you guys. Um... I'm probably gonna have to split that okay so now I'm just gonna take my coastal sense um, camouflage palette and I'm going to use my concealer brush 
in this color right here because it's two shades lighter than my skin tone. And here is where we're going to create that sharp edge for our eyeshadow. Just do the V shape as normal and I'm my foundation now since my skin is and I have no idea where my foundation is here it is and since my skin is just so sensitive I just use my basic Donna Michelle um, makeup foundation in color dark one and it matches my skin amazingly which is great about it um, it was about this much it matches my skin superiorly um, I haven't found anything else so far that really matches my skin every time it's either too light too dark And I hate buying two foundations just to mix and match. So for right now, I just use my little Donna Michelle foundation and I'm going to use a foundation brush Just to put that on all around Now the thing about this foundation is it is thin so if you like really really full coverage This is not going to be the type of foundation you want to use Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I'm so sorry my computer died. I should have realized that it was dying, but oh well. Um, all I did after it cut off is put on my eyeliner. I put some in my waterline, just enough to define the eye mascara. And the blush that I use comes from my Tim Palette Blush Palette, and it's this bright pink right here. This is actually more of the color here. And for my lips, I used, this is the color Sam Pink for the liner. It's a NYX lip liner. Sam Pink, a very pretty pink. And I just used this Crank Up Lip Shine from Walgreens. It was like $2.99. These are like my best friend right now. This is like a raspberry color. And pair it with this, it gives that nude color lip. So I really like it. And pink, you can basically do any pink lip with this look. But I chose a kind of nude one since the eye is so bright. But I really like the pink on the cheeks. I think it adds a little flair. And then I extra, I did not contour at all for this look. Because it is an Easter look. And you kind of want it to look more you know natural and flirty and young it's spring like you know you're usually gonna go to church or go to a nice like family dinner so you're not really doing anything in the evening where it needs to be really over dramatic and overdone so this is the look and um yeah that's it and i will be doing another one tomorrow hopefully pinks purples yellows some oranges we'll see i'm gonna try and do two on one eye again but remember these are really basic and really easy to do and they're church friendly and they're morning friendly so you don't look like bow going to church about to hit the club but yeah so i'll see you guys soon and don't forget to like subscribe and comment bye